for five months, Waikato Regional Council's Tehuia train service has been lying idle. But on the eve of its relaunch, officials are adamant it's not a white elephant. COVID lockdowns paused the new Kirikiriroa Hamilton Sutamaki Makaurau Auckland commuter train in August, just four months after it started. As Karen Rutherford reports, it's already lost 10 times more than it's earned. Carriages are being spruced, surfaces sanitised, even the baristas back on deck. Tahuia will resume its Hamilton to Auckland service in the morning with one major difference. No more inefficient changing of trains at Papakura. The good news for everybody on it, it will uh, go right through to the Strand Rail Terminal, in which case you don't have to change trains. Your one ticket will get you right through. You can continue working and the Strand is just short walking distance to central Auckland. And that's fantastic. Welcome on board Tahuya. Tahuya has been hemorrhaging cash since it launched in April. The two and a half hour commute attracted on average only 100 people a day. Revenue plunged from almost 70,000 a month to 50,000. The service lost almost $3 million last year. Tahuya had been operational just 102 days when the country was forced into lockdown in August. Since then, it's been sitting idle for 131 days, costing $8,000 a day to sit on the tracks. Yes, there was a deficit in there, um, but once we get going, if we can, increase uh, our revenue basis because increased revenue is less of subsidy from ratepayers and from uh, government. Officials are confident the new look timetable with later departure twice up and back daily will tempt more travellers between Auckland and Waikato. My kids and my muckles can't wait to go for a ride on the train. They've never been on one so yeah definitely. Okay, good if I had a million dollars I'd give it to you to pay for the train. <laughs> uh, me no I wouldn't use it at the moment. They've changed it now which will improve it. Give it another five years, and if it's still not making any money, then, then it's need to be chucked out. Weekends are Tahuya's trump card. Demand was 400% up on predictions before COVID stopped the service in its tracks, an expensive five-month hiatus that comes to an end tomorrow. We want to get the service up and running again. This time, direct all the way into Auckland City, a service commuters have been crying out for. Karen Rutherford, News Hub.
six paths, two driver's cabs. <laughs> 